we're almost ready to begin building our first atomsphere process. The following slides review our integration scenario for the day. For today's training, we're going to assume we are Dell Boomi Atomsphere Consultants, assigned with the job of designing an integration process to handle data entering in an online form. Here is our business use case for today's training. Customers will enter account and contact information onto an online form to sign up for an Atmosphere trial account. The form information is then stored in an online data store, an FTP server, and an XML process. Now the files we'll be bringing into the process are on Boomi's own FTP server, which we'll be connecting to. We'll build an Excel spreadsheet with the latest account data and archive it on our server for reporting. Excel cannot read XML, so we need to convert the XML data to CSV format before saving it to our server. So let's examine the FTP resource that we're going to be accessing. I've logged into our FTP site so you can take a look. Our FTP site is called ftp.boomi.com. We have a directory off the root called accounts. Everything is a lowercase and it is plural for the name. There are two files in there we will be using. One is called account1.xml, the other one's called account2.xml. I'm just going to click on account1.xml. This is what it looks like. It has a company ID, a name, a street address, city, state, postal code, country, phone, and industry, and then it has a contact. And account XML 2 is set up the exact same way. So let's return back to our slide. We now understand the high-level concept of the business scenario, so now we need to translate it into how our integration developer would think. The integration goal is as follows. We are going to request the account XML data be loaded into our FTP data store. This pulls the customer's contact information currently in the XML format from the FTP data store into our own process. We need to have our process archive a copy of the XML file on the server directory. Now keep in mind that our disk location is where our atom resides, so no files are saved on your computer. And we're going to cover this in more detail in a few moments. We need to build a second branch of our process to convert our XML data into our common delimited flat file. This allows us to export the data into our fictional Excel spreadsheet. Now the Excel spreadsheet doesn't actually exist, but it's used in our example. Finally, we need to archive our new CSV file onto our server directory. Now we're going to build out these shapes into what we refer to as an atmosphere process. I'm going to walk you through the first steps in creating your new integration. So don't worry, you'll have an opportunity to complete this on your own. And like all of our exercises in this manual, I will walk through them first and then you will complete the activity on your own. So while I'm demonstrating these steps, just sit back and take in everything that's happening without having to worry about duplicating what I'm doing on the fly. I'm going to do exercise number one, setting up your folders, and exercise number two to download your process endpoints from the process library. These are in your activity guide on pages five to nine. So let's begin with exercise number one, folder setup. We're going to do is we're going to go all the way to our root folder. For you, the root folder is going to be training dash your first name dash your last name dash your company name. We just have ours labeled as Boomi Training. We're going to come up here and we're going to click new folder. We're going to create a folder off the root to house our work known as Boomi Essentials. create another folder. 
this folder is going to house all of our common connections. And we'll be going over how this is going to be used shortly. We're going to click on the drop down off of the root directory, select new folder. And this is going to be called pound sign connections. We call it pound sign because we always want it to be the very first directory. And directories are stored in alphabetical order. So if we didn't put the pound sign there, it would be Boomi Essentials and then Connections. So we want this to be the first, so we're going to put the pound sign on it. That concludes exercise number one for folder setup. What we're going to do is move into exercise number two, and we're going to download a process from the process library. We're going to click on the process library, which is at the very bottom of your folders. We're going to search for Boomi Essentials. find that there's two out there. There's one called Account XML to CSV and then Account XML to CSV solution. The solution is the full process fully built out. Use that if you are stuck or you need a little bit of help, but to do is we're going to be working, of course, with the Account XML to CSV. We're going to click on the install button. It's going to ask us what we want to call it. We do want to call it account XML to CSV. It's going to ask us where we want it, and we're going to put this in the Boomi Essentials folder. We're going to click on install. Just want to point out to you that the process has been loaded. It's over here into the component explorer. So now your account XML to CSV has been downloaded and you're ready to get started. The video concludes now, but please complete both exercises before moving on to the next video, which will be focusing on connectors. As you do, build out your process. Remember to save. If you don't save, it doesn't exist.